Let's solve another series of problems involving air as an ideal gas in closed systems. A closed rigid tank fitted with a paddle wheel contains three kilograms of air, initially at 300 degrees Kelvin. During an interval of nine minutes, the paddle wheel transfers energy to the air at a rate of two kilowatts. During the interval, heat transfer from the air to its surroundings is 114 kilojoules. These are the only energy transfers. Assuming the ideal gas model for the air and no overall changes in kinetic or potential energy, determine the final temperature of the air in degrees Kelvin. <coughs> Let's lay out our storyboard for this problem. Um, we have a rigid tank fitted with a paddle wheel and the boundary around the system will include the uh, air in the tank, but not the tank itself and not the paddle wheel. Um, energy transferring from the surroundings into our system is regarded as positive heat transfer. <clears throat> Work being delivered to the system from the surroundings is considered negative work. Let's look at the given data. At state one, we have a mass of three kilograms a temperature of 300 degrees Kelvin. We don't have any information about state two as yet. The process uh, one, two takes place over nine minutes. The rate at which uh, <clears throat> work is performed through the paddle wheel is two kilowatts, but that is negative two kilowatts because work is going into the system. And the heat transfer is uh, given as 114 kilojoules. That is also negative since uh, energy is being transferred out of the system via heat transfer. We also will take note that the molecular weight of air is 28.97. Let's draw a property diagram. We'll use a TV diagram. Uh, this is a, a air at a gaseous state. <clears throat> and state one is at a, a temperature of 300 degrees Kelvin, and it's at some pressure P1 uh, and some specific volume we don't know. The process, though, is a constant volume process, and because the mass in a closed system is constant, it's also a constant specific volume process. And this uh, will take us up to state two, <clears throat> at some temperature T2, at some pressure P2. We'll model this uh, system as a closed system with no changes in kinetic or potential energy, and we'll consider the air uh, to be an ideal gas. And we want to calculate T2 in degrees Kelvin. Let's begin solving this problem by writing an energy balance. Uh, for a closed system with no changes in kinetic or potential energy, the energy balance is simply delta U is Q minus W. Now I'll rewrite delta U as the mass times the change in specific internal energy, and that is equal to Q minus W. Let's look at the work term W. Uh, for this process one, two, the work is the rate at which work is done, which is to say the power times the time. And I read this uh, uh, nomenclature here as W dot. I can't actually place a dot over the W, so I use a W prime. But the intention here is that this is the rate at which work is done, or the power. And that was given as two kilowatts. Now that two kilowatts is negative because work is being put into the system and not being done by the system. Uh, the time was nine minutes. And a kilowatt is defined as a kilojoule per second, and there are 60 seconds in a minute. So I calculate the work being done by this process as a minus 1080 kilojoules. Now, using the air table at state one, which is at 300 degrees Kelvin, we notice that because air is an ideal gas, we only need one property to determine U or H, and that is the temperature. So U sub one is the uh, table value at 300 degrees K, which is 214.07 kilojoules per kilogram. 
Let's uh, continue by resolving the energy balance. We had said that the mass times the change in specific internal energy is Q minus W. Let's divide both sides by the mass and move the uh, um, internal energy at state one to the right side of the equation. And we get U2 is equal to U1 plus Q over M minus W over M. We have all of these values. We know that U1 is 214.07 kilojoules per kilogram. Q is a minus 114 kilojoules. The mass is three kilograms. The work is a minus uh, 1080 kilojoules. And again, the mass is three kilograms. So I calculate that U2 is 536.07 kilojoules per kilogram. I can take this value into the air table and at a value of 536.07 kilojoules per kilogram, I find a temperature is 730 degrees Kelvin. No interpolation was required um, to find that value in the table. 